separate cases highlighting the ongoing threat posed by Chinese economic espionage and research theft in the United States. Federal investigators at the Lexington home of 60-year-old Dr. Charles Lieber today, moments after his arrest at his Harvard office. The complaint alleges that Dr. Lieber signed a contract with the Chinese University in Wuhan and was paid up to $50,000 per month, plus up to $158,000 in living expenses. The chair of Harvard's chemistry department, he also allegedly received more than $1.5 million to set up a research lab in China, all while working at Harvard and receiving multiple research grants from the U.S. Department of Defense and National Institutes of Health. Also charged today, two Chinese nationals, 29-year-old Yang King Yi, who worked as a scientific researcher at Boston University. Who failed to mention on her visa application that she is also a lieutenant with the People's Liberation Army. 30-year-old Zhao Zong Zhang worked on cancer research at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. For trying to smuggle vials of biological material out of the United States to China and lying about its federal investigation. One trend is starting to come to light. Data that has been made available so far shows that African Americans are being infected at disturbing rates in some of the nation's largest cities and states. For example, in Louisiana, where nearly a third of the state population is African American, black residents make up 70% of all COVID-19 related deaths. In Michigan, African Americans make up 14% of the state's population, but they make up 40% of Michigan's coronavirus deaths. In Illinois, African Americans make up 15% of the population, but account for 42% of all deaths. And in Chicago, where 30% of that city's population is African American, African Americans account for a staggering 70% of the coronavirus deaths so far. So that's 1,870,000 million tests. What about 1,870,000 tests today? And now we're performing them at a level that nobody's ever seen before. As we announced yesterday, CBS testing sites in Georgia and Rhode Island will be using Abbott Labs rapid five-minute tests. We're down to now five minutes. It's a five-minute test so that people can get the results back very quickly. And we're actively engaging on the problem of increased impacts. This is a real problem, and it's showing up uh, very strongly in our data on the African-American community, and we're doing everything in our power to address this challenge. It's a tremendous uh, challenge. It's terrible. And provide support to African-American citizens of this country who are going through a lot, uh, but it's been disproportional. Uh, they're getting hit very, very hard. In fact, uh, while we have Tony, here, I'd like to maybe have you come up and address that room, and then I'll continue. But if you could address that, it would be great, Tony, please. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. We have a, a particularly difficult problem of an exacerbation of the health disparity. We've known literally forever that diseases like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, and asthma are disproportionately affecting the minority populations, particularly the African Americans. Unfortunately, when you look at the predisposing conditions that lead to a bad outcome with coronavirus, the things that get people into ICUs that require intubation and often lead to death, they are just those very comorbidities that are unfortunately disproportionately prevalent in the African-American population. So we're very concerned about that. It's very sad. It's nothing we can do about it right now except to try and give them the best possible care to avoid those complications. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. And Tony, I think you're going to have some pretty accurate numbers over the next few days, right? But they are very, uh, they're very nasty numbers, terrible numbers. In total, uh, 1,200 Abbott machines, Abbott laboratories have been fantastic, have been shipped now nationwide. Up to 500 more are being produced every week, and 50,000 testing cartridges are being manufactured per day. That means a lot of very fast tests.